Hello there, it's I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of It's Always Sunny. It is the season four finale, and I've grabbed myself a beer, uh, so if you want to do the same, go for it. Go grab a beer, put it on pause, or if you want to have a smoke, or whatever you're doing, do it um, for the finale of this season. Somebody said this is a musical episode or something uh, in one of the comments. I, I can't remember, um, but yeah, I'm excited to find out what it is. Uh, if you'd like the full unedited reaction, the link will be down below um, for the Patreon. My brain's not working today. And also my links for social media. And uh, drink responsibly and only if you're over 18. <laughs> 21 in America. Let's just get this now and have some fun. Come one, come all to a beautiful show. It's gonna be awesome and some other stuff. Some other musical stuff. What you doing, buddy? I wrote a musical. Huh? You wrote a musical? Why? Why, why did you do that? To, uh, just to write a musical. What? Does there have to be a reason? I don't think so. Yeah, there does. Nobody writes a musical for no reason. It doesn't make sense. All right. Well, how about you just mind your business, D? If you want to write a musical, you can. And that first song is great. So far, so good. Cheers. I just wrote a musical to write a musical, okay? I don't have an ulterior motive here. I'm not trying to screw anyone or, or gain anything out of it. You know what? If you guys don't want to be in it, I can find other people to play your parts. Oh, 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 oh. hang on there, pal. <laughs> hang on, hang on. We're just trying to wrap our heads around this. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason to give away our parts, all right? <laughs> all right. No. The second... They found out they weren't going to be included. They were all for it. They were like, hold on, hold on a minute. We're being cut out. We don't like this. But they always, they also thought he had bad intentions in mind. Whereas he just wants to do something because he wants to do it. And I think good, good on Charlie. You got on you, sir, mate. I've had two beers. <laughs> Now, you guys, you all know Artemis. Yes. Uh, Artemis was kind enough to book for us this fine local theater. <laughs> okay, so round of applause for Artemis. Nice. Uh, she also transcribed my work into a format you might consider a little bit more legible. Or literate. She added words to it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no more interruptions now. D, thank you. Please. Okay, well, Charlie, I got yeah, it'll just be pictures for, Ch for Charlie. Oh, that's so funny. I'm the troll guy. Who else would be the troll? Oh, I like that. <laughs> All right, good. Can I do it naked? Absolutely not. Why would you want to be naked? <laughs> because in the 70s, everybody did theater naked. Everybody got laid all the time. All right, well, this is not the 70s. You're going to do theater with your clothes on, please. Charlie, what the hell? Boo. Danny DeVito wants to get naked. You let that mother get naked. Seriously. You could get you could get naked and lie in bed next to me after eating some cat food or drinking some beer or whatever it was he was drinking. To stop seeing the creepy little girls. You're in love with a young man. You wrote boy. All right, well, man, boy, it's a metaphor. Well, the audience is going to think I'm a child molester. I've changed my mind. I'm playing the night man. What? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you want to play the night man? Well, the night man's badass, dude. Man, well, no, this is great. great. That frees up the lead boy role and the day man role. I can play both those. No, I don't want you guys switching roles. It's not how it works. Hey, Craig, you got a guy that does cat eyes? I'm already on Oh, it. my God. For the love of God. <laughs> So they're taking over his play. Tiny boy, little boy, Ooh. baby boy, I need you. Ah. Tiny boy, Ooh. little boy, want to make love to you. Oh. If you only okay. knew. Hold on a what? second. Uh, Charlie? Yes. Are you goddamn kidding me? What? Tiny boy, little boy, baby boy? Yes. I want to You're make love to you. You're wanting me to say that I want to make love to a little baby tiny boy. But I've explained this to you, Dee, that I'm talking about the spirit of this man. It's like a little boy. It's a metaphor. You keep okay. It's a metaphor. Are you sure, mate? Do, do you not have a therapist for this? Because this doesn't sound like a metaphor. More like maybe something you've locked away in your psyche, mate. <laughs> I know all about that kind of shit. <laughs> I'm laughing, but yeah. I could have Artemis do the song, okay? Because you did not write it. Or I could strap on a wig and I could do the song myself. So you tell me, little miss all that, what do you want to do? Song or no song? It's all song. <gasps> song? Wow, look at Charlie laying down the law. I mean, he has a point. It's his work. Do you know what I mean? When you write a script, you don't want somebody coming in and be like, well, hold on, I don't like this bit, or this bit, or this bit. You, you, you see your lines. I mean, yeah, there's room for, what's that word again? Ad-lib, where you, you, you do some stuff. 
But you don't just come in like this bit, throw it out. Unless, you know, you're a script editor and she's not. So shut your face, D. <laughs> you gotta pay the troll toll to get in. You want this baby boy's hole. You gotta pay the troll toll. Stop, 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 stop. Gotta... All right, uh, not bad. Good rhythm, love the enthusiasm. I feel like you're saying boy's hole. Yeah. And it's clearly yeah. soul. And I know Artemis, you did write soul, right? I did write soul. So I it's boy's did. soul. You gotta pay the troll toll to get into this boy's hole. You no, see. Pay... <laughs> Is this child abuse the musical? Well, sure. Uh, I pay the troll toll, and then I rape Dennis. No, I you don't rape Taste him. It. You become him. You do not rape him. He doesn't? No! Is this wishful thinking, Mark? Oh, Jesus Christ. This is coming off rather creepy. And I was like, it's a celebration. Let's have a few beers. Oh, God. Once he gets near you, you have to sense him, okay? Suddenly you sense him. What if I were to position him in a way where I get behind him and then Frank could throw that blanket that he's got right there over us? Oh, yeah. And then that way you can't see the penetration. That's a good idea. You know what, Charlie? Because the blanket will make the rapings, I'm sorry, the uh, sexing from behind feel more classy. That's good. And then what I can do is thrust this way and you can struggle. Now I'm here, okay? Holy balls. Oh, God. Jesus. I mean, I'm wearing a vest, so it's already traumatic for you guys. So this is going to be double the trauma. All right. I swear to God, I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to stop listening to my emergency contact. I'm going to stop calling you. All that stuff if you see the musical. That's how much this means to me. Nice. Leave me alone. You're not going to regret it. I regret it already he's gonna wear her down eventually isn't he because it's like the 50 shades of gray thing if you just keep pestering them eventually like yeah i'm actually quite in love with you which is fucking weird do you know what i mean 50 shades of gray would not work if it was me do you know what i mean if i was a fat dude <laughs> with no money and no jets and i was uh, <laughs> kidnapping women or whatever they do in that fucking movie it, it wouldn't work. Be like, well, no, you're ugly and you're not rich, mate. So, no, I don't love you. You're a kidnapper. You're going to prison. But because he's handsome and thin and, and rich and has, like, helicopters and shit, it, it's acceptable. It's like, oh, yeah, I mean, he, he does put chinchillas in me butthole, but, you know, he's rich. <laughs> what the fuck? We're just gonna move on. I wrote a song, I'm gonna throw it in. I swear to God, you cannot add a song. It's gonna happen. I will smack it's your face happen. off of your face. Okay. Do not add a song. <laughs> it's started. started. It's started. Okay, go, go. Well, good luck to you, Charlie. I hope it is a fantastic play. Boy. Oh, boy. Well, that was fucking nightmare fuel, won it? <laughs> you gotta pay the troll toll to get in. You want the baby boy's hole? You gotta pay the troll toll. You gotta pay the troll toll to get in. <laughs> Fuck me! Oh, this room is like an oven. Oh my good lord, Danny DeVito can do anything and just so well. Whatever, bro. Here's whatever, bitch. What? No, don't improv. Don't tell me what to do. Ha! 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 Guess what? Woo! Body bag! So this is part of the Matrix as well. Don't say stage freeze, just do it. Oh, this is the best thing and the worst thing ever. I'm sorry, I want to get this clear. Uh, you are saying no. Oh, I am definitely, definitely saying no. Okay, well, I did never sign anything, so um, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I am shocked, Charlie, shocked. And by the way, I thought the rape scene went really well. I, I, I am here. I am here with it, and that was awful for me. And if you bring this up back to the apartment tonight, I'm going to smack you. I swear to God. Okay. <clears throat> I have some thoughts. I apologize if this goes overly long. But <clears throat> the night man. <clears throat> it, it, 
It's a story about sexual abuse, isn't it? Charlie losing his innocence and becoming a man the day somebody snuck into his room and sexually abused him. Right? That's what... <clears throat> that's what that's about. That is fucked, man. <laughs> oh my god, I'm laughing. But seriously, that... <clears throat> it's a funny episode. I love it. Don't get us wrong. I think it's fantastic. But... That's... That is... I mean, who did that to him? Do you know what I mean? Because that... Uh, like, you've got to pay the troll toll to get into this boy's hole. It's soul, but it's so kind of that kind of shit that horrible stuff in reality it tarnishes a person you know what i mean it, it, it fucks with the head and it's horrible and obviously charlie was clearly abused i mean that's what i'm getting from it. i might be totally wrong but like the day the nightman comes into his room is the day's childhood stops and he becomes a man and that to me sounds like somebody did some untoward stuff to charlie which is fucking messed up that is horrible um obviously i love the episode and i know it's not real and all that stuff uh it was really funny i love the songs i don't know how much of that i'm going to be able to get on youtube so i do apologize in advance if is barely any on there because youtube hates music and i get blocks if it goes up when i can't get paid that's fine but if it blocks it there's nothing i can do about that i have to take it out um but yeah it was a really good finale episode but it's definitely left us wondering like what is behind this this episode and i, I was so full of beans i was like yeah i'm gonna have a beer do you want to have one with this kind of you know it's going to be a good episode and then well it was a good episode but that was that that was something jesus christ but yeah uh thank you as ever for your support coming out to to watch these i really do appreciate you you'll never understand how grateful i am um please do drop a like the more people who drop likes the more visibility you get the more people who see it and i'm trying to build a, a lovely community of delightful people such as yourself uh, so be sure to subscribe as well and i'll see you all again very soon for more it's always sunny reaction videos